All right, friends, welcome. This is Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I'm here for another episode of RimWorld Tutorial and Play to Play Through. I'm not even going to go back and do that again. Last time, if you could check out our old videos, last time we finally were able to set up and we got a full, full first day going. So here is our burgeoning fortress. You can see we have Tuibo, Tiubo, and Leeks and Kazni and Newbie, and they are both bunked up and sleeping. If we click on them, one of my mods, if you click on them, it shows right down here in the left-hand corner what their uh, current needs are. So there are three areas of need, food, rest, recreation. We have only one mode of recreation right now, so I'm going to build another one tomorrow, um, game time tomorrow. And you can see that is the wooden horseshoes pin. So we're probably going to have a lot of that be pretty popular tomorrow morning. A few things we need to do while we're sitting here. Last time we made our growing zones. We have one here. If I zoom out, you can see my other one is over here. And this one is actually contoured to the growing area. This has a, a, a rich soil, which is highly fertile. And so we're going to grow our rice there because it grows very fast. It's a plentiful harvest. And with that boost, that 140% growing, it will definitely happen pretty quickly. We want that. Uh, so on our agenda, the first thing we want to do is we want to make a place that's safe for the animals. For now, I'm going to have that be inside right here in our little courtyard dining room play area thing. And eventually, though, our plan is to wall off everything from this north wall to the east wall and then this central wall here. This whole area is going to be grazing lands for our flocks. Uh, another thing we need to do, we need to build a freezer, something they can walk into and uh, not have food spoil. So we're going to look for a place for that. And I also want to, like I said, build a few more modes of recreation. So first thing, we can actually do that right now because all of this can be planned ahead of time. As you explore, there are a couple other ways for them to be excited about life, <laughs> but we're gonna do the most simple one here and that's the chess table. The other two, poker table and billiards table require cloth. We don't have any of that right now. So there's that. Now we need chairs next to it in order for it to work. I am actually going to take the time to build real chairs for this instead of stools. I have a little bit of wood here. That should do me fine. If not, I can have them cut some more trees down. Uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. So uh, let's go ahead. We're going to go into our architect. We're going to go into furniture. We'll find dining chair. This requires a construction skill of four, but that's okay because Tiubo has a construction construction skill of nine. So she definitely will be able to take care of that. So here's our dining chair. You'll notice it does have a face, like which way it goes. To change that, Q rotates counterclockwise, E clockwise. I mashed a button, sorry, so that's why the left hand side changed. But we're going to place this 45 wood, bang. 45 wood for an opponent, bang. And you know, I noticed this when I was loading it up. These trees on the inside, this is not supposed to be able to happen because if I click this overlay for the visibility of roof, you can see there's a roof everywhere. But that's not supposed to happen. In the base game, that wouldn't happen. But because of I have the Skylights mod installed, I think that's one of the... I think that's the, the, the problem. Uh, all of these trees are here. So instead of the pawns going through and getting rid of them manually, they go ahead and just build a roof over it. So we have to clear them on, on our own. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select similar. I forget which mod allows me to do that. Now I have all the poplar trees. I'm going to chop them down or cut the plants. Uh, and then I'm going to select the oak tree. I'm going to do all the similar. There's just the two in there, but I'm going to cut them or chop them down. And when they wake up, they'll probably do that just about first after they eat. Uh, got our food over here. And that's the next thing we need to do. We need to think about long-term food so there's lots of blueberries in here we started to harvest some of those there's 
lots of animals. I'm very excited about that. Um, I don't see any that are going to be good for us. Oh, there's a couple of alpaca. Ooh, a breeding pair. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead. This is the train, the tame button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select them as tame. And then my tamer, who is, I believe, newbie with the animal skill, uh, my tamer is going to go at some point, and he's going to go down there and he's going to tame them. Where are they at? Right there and right there. Oh, that's actually pretty close, too. So he doesn't even have to go very far. Awesome. So it's now 4 o'clock in the morning on our second day. Uh, I'd like to get a couple of days in here today. That would be a lot of fun, I think. I'm here with... I've got this cool glass from when I was in uh, a Comic-Con recently. Or at, I shouldn't say in, although I am sometimes in Comic-Cons. This one I was just at. And I found this vendor who was selling a, uh, a Guinness glass, but it's not Arthur, it's Alec. And it has his, uh, his, his bust there, a picture in profile, and it says Obi-Wan Kenobi underneath. And of course, the, the, uh, the, the typeset is like the, the, the beer, and then it's got his signature monogrammed underneath. So it's pretty cool, and I have a completely non-alcoholic beverage in it, I swear. And that non-alcoholic beverage, I swear, is from Alaska, and you can't even get it on the East Coast, which is why I'm enjoying it. So, All right, well, it's still 4 o'clock. I'm going to start speeding this up a little bit. The, these keystrokes are... Um, apostrophe or rather the other one with the tilde button one two three on your above your keys so i'm going to go ahead and click this that'll speed it up there goes leaks she he he that's a he right no that's a she huh i have that backwards oh well so now it looks like she's going to go ahead and start throwing them horseshoes to make herself a little happier she's in good position right now uh to you Bo, is gonna eat. You can see she's hungry. That's one of the nice things about this game is you don't have to micromanage if you don't want to. You can just say, hey, these are the things I want to have done, and they'll get done. Um, there's ways to improve when they get done, and you can also force them to do them at that time. We're not gonna do that just yet. Let's build a few things, but when you eventually get doing that, you can go down to um, work, and there are these are the things they'll do, things they won't do. You hover over it, you can see their skill in the relevant area. Um, eventually, I like to do the manual priorities because it makes it a little bit easier for each person. So there goes Leeks. Leeks is my planter. You see I have the mod that shows their job in bar, and that allows me to see that she's the planter, and she's going to go in there, and she's planting some potatoes. So we'll, those will be ready soon a few days tubo trying to get happier oh she's making a better kasney over here is hungered so he's gonna go get something to eat so is newbie and i'm excited for newbie to go and get see if he can train these but before he does oh i guess it's kasney animals seven Animals, nine. I would rather you not do that. So I'm going to go back over here. I guess we're going to look at this a little bit early. So I don't want Kazni to be handling animals. So I'm going to deselect that for him. That means that he's now going to just go and do another backup uh, skill that he has. And he's going to start planting some potatoes too. Now newbie, however, he's done eating. So he's going to end up going over here. See, the higher the skill in that relevant area, the better chance that it's going to have a success. Sometimes they have a failure. And some animals, when you try to when you try to tame them, they actually fight back. So, if, for example, if I were to take this cougar and press tame, up here in the left corner you're going to see it says, has a chance, when it fails, of attacking. And I've lost colonists very quickly, especially when you are 
trying to tame some of those bigger animals like thrombos or rhinoceri. Yeah, they are, they're not happy. So I'm going to actually cancel that because I don't want to even worry about it yet. Uh, it failed. 46%. Aw, shucks. Come on. So it takes a little bit of time. This is one of the nice things about those thought bubbles or speech bubbles is you can see exactly what they're doing. So the newbie gently touched the alpaca. It's a lonely rim world. And we got a table being built, normal. Tame failed. Well, what good are you, newbie? Gosh, kicked out. All right. So let's make this little area for our animals to hang out. So we're going to, we have this bunny. That's going to be a nice emergency food for us if we need it. And then we have the carnivores here. I'm going to go back to my zones and I'm going to manage my areas. I'm going to go ahead and rename the stock zone area one to, we'll call it, I will call it uh, game room. And then I can expand game room by clicking expanding. That will clear it if we need it. And yeah, just like that, I overdrew. Okay. So we have our nice game room area. So now we go to animals and I can assign it to game room. I don't want the foxes though, because they'll hunt for their own food, but the rabbit won't do that. It needs to eat grass. Eventually he'll be able to graze out here, but we're nowhere near ready for that yet. All right, cool. So let's start thinking about where we want to put this freezer. I like doing, might be kind of nice to have it. If I have a nice little hallway right here, I can eventually just build a fallback wall right here, just in case the outer defenses are either incomplete before I'm attacked or are uh, breached. I can have a fallback area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here. Right, do you wanna do that along there? See, the only problem is that's right next to my planters. And I don't know if I want to do that. So why don't we bring this right out to here. So we'll do that. That's going to look good. And then we'll bring that over. I don't want you to build that quite yet. And I do want a door. Now I'm going to start with wood. But eventually I will be not using wood at all. It's pretty weak and it burns. And that's those are two bad things. So, where do I want those doors? Let's just go ahead and put the doors straight down. That looks nice. Oh, it's so pretty. But he's, they're going to try to build that, so let's forbid it. Well, there we go. All right, let's find some more trees to cut down. We've got 99%. Sweet, that's about done. Ready to harvest. you all right, so this is kind of nice. They actually will clean, clear the area where there is a planting zone before they plant. So the rice is getting put in, but they're clearing out the grass, the trees, all that stuff. And everybody's pitching in right now. This is fantastic. Except for Tiubo, who apparently refuses to plant. Plants. Oh, skill of four. It's not bad. All right, so let's get this going here. So if I do that... I can actually have, um, thank you. I can actually have a walk-in freezer, and I'm going to set it up even with this wall. But again, I want to st stop that from being built because I need more wood, and I want to make sure I plant it right. We'll go to, we'll go to right here. That's a nice little area right here, and I can always expand it if I want to. I'll put that door there. Um, and then I guess, you know, on second thought, see, this is why I do it this way. I'm gonna have this pushed out to here. And I'll cancel that. This way, I can actually have them access it from the inside, and all I have to do is move these. So that's, why don't we go ahead and do that now? We'll put this there. 
uh, you can see it says B is reinstall now. Make sure they're rotated so they're facing the, the table. Otherwise, they won't be able to play. And that looks pretty good. The only thing is that I need to have some power. Otherwise, I'm not going to have anything freeze. So the easiest thing that I can do right now is actually going to be a wooden generator. So they'll have to fill it with 75 wood at a time. And that runs for about a day and a half, two days, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'll go down to where it says power. And I have four options. I could do a wind turbine. That actually might not be a bad idea, but not right now. So I'm going to set it right here. You'll notice the way that I had it planned out, it's like I knew what I'm doing, is I can extend this wall for pretty purposes and have this all walled in so that it's not going to be a problem for anything. And then I can just close that out, make a door, forbid it, and boom, we're good to go. So now Tuobo is going to actually do something productive instead of just running around with wood. Oh man, it's getting dark already. It's five o'clock. I did not get nearly as much done today than I thought as I thought I was going to. But my potatoes are in. It's like that Matt Damon movie up in here. Oh yeah, and I've got this shotgun lying around. She's wearing this, so I'm going to actually have her equip a shotgun, and then she can go back to this. Oh, and then we will have it refuel. Flip the switch. And there's no sense for having it be on right now. You can actually have it so that it's fueled but off. And you do that with toggle power. So it's full right now. Oh, three and a half days. It's full right now, which is handy. And when I'm ready, I can have it uh, build in more stuff. The roofing, I want to make sure this does not get roofed in because that's going to make it super hot in there and that could be a problem. So what I can do is I can go over to zone and do remove roof or ignore roof. And I'm going to go ahead and from ignore, let's remove that area right there, just the one, and that should be fine. And then that will allow me to do that. We'll keep those forbidden for now. Those are less important than some of these other ones. Still building them. Grow those rices. And the other thing we need, and I'm going to throw it right in here, is a, a stove. Oh, look how fast she works. It never happens. Put that last one, and then do this, please. That's going to be, be a pretty sweet freezer. All right, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to go over to uh, production. I see there's a butcher table here. We're going to use that. Make it out of wood. I'm going to set it right there for now. And then we're going to need a fueled stove. That's the one that runs on wood. This one I would need electricity for. And if the power ever goes out, and there are a few events that make that happen, uh, it's going to spell some bad news for us. So, fueled stove, throw it right there. That means that it's a little cramped in there. So I'm going to go ahead and press L, which allows me to mine. And then when Tiubo's got a second, I think she's my miner also. When, yeah, oh yeah, construction, mine. Right. Look how smart I am. Uh, she's going to go in and she's probably going to build these first. I'm going to forbid that because this is the priority. Uh, then she'll build these and then she'll probably mine those afterwards. When Leeks is done out here, she will probably go in. Well, oops. Huh. Where did she get that from? A little herbal medicine. She's got a little bit of basil. She's gonna make some pesto. It's gonna heal someone. It'll be swell. Well, it's 10 o'clock, so that means that everybody's getting ready to go to bed. And I actually 
I'm going to switch this up because I messed it up the first time. So Tiubo is in a relationship with Nubi, so they should be in this bed together. Nubi, they actually got a, bo a, a boon, a buff, a boot, if they're in the same bed as their loved ones. Kazni and Leeks. Alright, so that should make things a little bit happier for them. If I go over and needs... Eight without a table? Well, why did you do that? You've got a table right here. Alright, more submission. Opinion of my lover Leeks. Ten. That's swell. Impressive. Slightly impressive. Rec and dining room. That's what this is. This is here. And the whole purpose of putting them together is so you, that you get that buff. Um... You only have one room to make impressive. And then they get a plus three and plus three. That's that's pretty good. And that's going to make their mood go much higher. Uh, as, you, as we play the game later on, things are going to get a little rough. And that's just the way the game works, is balancing and managing all that. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Wait. Hold on. Why isn't Newbie over here? Where is Newbie? Why are you sleeping here? Let's wake you up. I can make you go to bed. So one thing you can do to have them cancel whatever the heck they're doing without doing too much is by pressing R. R drafts them. It stops whatever they're doing, and they just stand there. They're underlined so that you can tell just by looking. But they just stand there, and they will die if you don't tell them to do something or cancel the draft. So be careful when you use that. But if you double tap R on your keyboard, it actually will make them... Stop whatever they're doing and go do something else. So if one of their needs is really low, maybe they're mining and it's taking forever, you and their food is at 10%, then you may want to stop them and just have them go eat. So you can do that by double tapping R. Then you don't have to go into any menus or anything like that. All right, now let's go fast forward. Don't look at that. They're, they're having some a good time over here. Oh, transport pod crash. A tribesman named Huntsman is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Huntsman is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue him. I hope he joins freely or capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. Ooh. Well, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and put a bed on the ground, a sleeping spot. So we can do that by going to furniture, sleeping spot, maybe right there. And I'm gonna make that a medical bed. My doctor, I think, yeah, with nine, is newbie. So, whoops, where's it? Oh, oh, I can't even get over there. Oh gosh. How long till he dies? Eight hours. That's not gonna happen. Who's the fastest of them all? All right, so we're gonna go over here to Bio. <clears throat> She's a fast walker. Oh, that's great. So what I might do is I might just have her go there, but I'm also gonna have my doctor go there. What's he carrying anything? <clears throat> nope. So you are going to pick up the herbal medicine. <clears throat> Excuse me. And come on over now. What Leeks is going to do is actually strip him. Oh man. Seven hours. Okay. okay. He's not going to make it all the way back to my fort from way the heck up here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and make him right here. that. Make this medical. Let's make you so you don't go here. Oops. Let's see if we can't rescue him. Oh, he did bring him over. Oh, excellent. And now he's using this to help him. Oh, this is great. We might actually have a good time. What is this? Ooh, a charge lance. I can't believe we're in our second day and we've got marine armor and a charge lance. 
like I said in yesterday's video, Randy giveth, but that just makes me a little worried that he's gonna, he's gonna take away soon. Well, I'm gonna let you finish doing this, Leeks, even though you're hungry, and then I'm gonna have you put all this stuff away. Man, look at all this. Silver and steel slag, we'll take that eventually, but let's stop that for now. Fine meals. All sorts of clothes. Let's haul this. So we're gonna take this because it's worth a lot, and this because it's worth a lot, and they're deteriorating. So let's get those first. Let's see what else she'll actually take. So this might actually stabilize him too, if we can get him. So now we're at 12 hours, and he's only got one more thing that looks like. Oh well, he's, he's got the one here. So a newbie's gonna have to do his best. It's tense. Okay, we've got him. So he's no longer in danger of dying. So what I might have him, have Newbie do is bring him over to this bed. So he's inside our fortress. And then, so I'm going to select the sleeping spot. I'm going to press X to deconstruct it. And he's just sitting here. And we're going to rescue Huntsman. Now, he may not join us if, because I didn't uh, capture him. But I'm still going to try. I'm going to see if that works. All right, what have we all been doing? Oh, she's used some of my steel. I should do this. So we've got a thousand steel or so. That's that's a fair bit for the beginning. And then she's, like I said, she's building that stove first, and afterwards she's probably going to start mining. But I do want a door here. So she may build that instead. To get all the roofing done, excellent. The other thing we're gonna do is build, make this a little airlock. That way, the one will. There's a little bit of temperature loss if I make this a freezer. When they open the door, some of the cool air gets out. So it's pretty realistic in that regards. So. Oh, they go. Are they coming? Come on, newbie. All right. So we got. What are we doing here? Parka. Oh yeah. It's so it's summertime, but they like to wear the parka. So one thing I like to do is have them wear. I make different outfits for the summer and the winter. So for example, I'm going to do a new outfit. I'm going to call it summer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove armor because I don't want them wearing armor. I'm going to remove toque because that's a like a winter hat. And I'm going to have them remove parka. I think that's it. And no armor. Yeah, okay, so good. And then I'm going to make one called winter which will take jacket and duster off because those are those don't add too much to their heat but they keep them protected from the elements oh but i gotta take armor right okay cool so now that i've done this i can select for each of them unfortunately i have to do it manually but i can select that i want all of them to do summer and that should work so now I'm actually, see, I'm going to cancel this by doing the, oh, she's removing it anyway. Moving Marine Army. Okay, so that's good. Oh, I have it pause. I'm like, why is nothing happening? I swear I'm getting old. All right, so now Tubo's going to finish building these. And that's perfect. Now the other thing we're going to do, when we build these freezers, I'm going to actually put two in. Oh, a combat supplier already, my goodness. What do they think I've got so far? I haven't built anything. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to do temperature. We're going to put this cooler here. And we're going to put it so that the cool is on the inside. We're going to build two, though, and the hot is on the outside. You can see that the red is pointing toward this guy here. Area revealed. Why did we do that? Oh, because I was mining. So what did we find? So there was a wall here, but this was empty. And because it was essentially off camera, 
they tell me that there's an area that was revealed. Well, that may end up not being my butchering room, because now we have another guy here. What are you building? Oh, duh. Well, golly! Let's check these guys out. What do we got? They're coming up. I wonder where they're going to hang out. Sometimes the game puts... The, they, make, they wander around a little central area whenever they come into your base all these suppliers and caravans and all that. And sometimes they're in like the dumbest spots. So it's possible that it could be right on my field and I'm going to have to deal with it, I guess. Uh, let's see who's got a high social skill. So socials down here. Oh, seven's probably going to be it. Four, five, and six. So Tiubo, man, my jack of all trades over here. She probably is going to be the one I'm going to have them trade with them. Oh, look at that. These guys came up right up in my grill. Alright, I think it's time to build this outer wall. Which is going to eventually be the inner wall. Because I don't want a wolf hanging out right next to my entrance. When he gets hungry, he's going to start attacking like my bunny. Who's not supposed to be outside anyway. Oh, I did it backwards. That's why. There we go. Now now the bunny's going back into game room. And my foxes are going to go do whatever they're supposed to do. Oh, well, this one's hungry. Later on, it's probably better to have them not be in your... Wherever you keep your food. Because they will eat it. Like Bits is doing right now. Bits. Bits and Lorenzo. Yeah, those are some names for you. Right, so I'm actually going to try and kick bits out before she finishes this so that I don't lose one of my very precious packaged survival meals. Uh, I'm, I can cook some stuff and I'm getting close to be able to store it without spoiling, but yeah, I still don't want her to eat it. Those, those things take a lot of research before you can get them yourself. They're somewhere over here, right there. Oh, nutrient paste. Oh, that's, I guess not that bad, but still. I don't even have someone I could have research right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a new area. We're going to manage areas. We're going to new area. We're going to call this one carnivores. And we're going to do this backwards. So this, the only place we want to keep them out of are right here and right here. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go backwards with it. So we select that one. We select this one, and it's eventually going to be like that, so that's good. And we're going to invert the area. So Carnivores is going to switch, and now it can go anywhere except for the areas I had previously selected. So. We're getting some wood down here. Tebow's building our walls. Build a wall, that'll keep him out. Poor Huntsman. Who even knows what happened to him? So let's check him out. I'm excited about this. Right now he's a guest. He likes newbie. Probably, I mean, I think I would probably have plus 55 like for someone if I were dying and they just randomly gave me doctor care. But Oh, and newbie's even feeding him now. Aw, that's so nice. Weeks is sleeping. Oh, she was running over there, so she's probably tired. This cool charge lance. Thirty damage. Wow. Wow, that's absolutely crazy. Uh, all right. What are you doing? What the heck is that thing? The Doomsday rocket launcher. Why do you have this? Oh. <laughs> Those are the traders. All right, well, let's see what you do have. Trade with it, cold. While that happens, let's go check out Huntsman. So, doesn't have any gear right now. That's going to make him angry in a minute. 
He is a male. Uh-oh, his childhood, he was a bully. Huntsman tormented other children for fun. To keep him busy, an elder assigned him to a hunting party at an early age. Oh, well, that's cool. So shooting and melee are going to be pluses. Adulthood, tribesmen. Most of the Zabrak people are simple tribesmen, and women like Huntsman a hardy people due to their harsh environment. So he's better at construction and crafting. These are phenomenal backgrounds. Both of them have only pluses and no minuses. The only one that's a problem here is he can't do doctoring. He can't do child caring. Uh, I shouldn't have any children, so that won't be a problem. And I've got everyone else that could be a doctor and newbie's a pretty good one. So I don't have to worry about that. And capable of caring, that can be a problem, but that's right. Uh, now this this is an issue, psychically hypersensitive. So every once in a while we'll, we'll get an event where there's a psychic drone going on. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they affect males, some females, sometimes children, sometimes adults. And him being ex exceptionally sensitive to it is probably going to be a problem later on, but we'll just have to keep him happy in other ways. Uh, great memory, which is good. That means his skills aren't going to go away. But his skills aren't all that great to begin with. They're they're all right. Jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, can't can't really do artistic or medical, intellectual. He might end up being a warrior constructor. All right, so that's not too bad. I'd love for him to join. That'd be fantastic. I never did rename these guys, so. He's going to be my cook, so I'm going to rename him Cook, rename his title, I should say, and Newbie is my doctor and handler, Socks, <laughs> subliminal message, go Red Socks, Doc, handle, we'll say that. Excellent. All right, what are we going to trade? We don't have much to give away, 30 medicine. Those are worth a little bit. But we only get 12 silver for it. Alright, so shells. We got some weapons, 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 weapons. That armor. I wonder why that's green. I'd love to have a hauler, though. Only 439. You know what? I want to see if I can try and get that. Doesn't want any of my other stuff, or figures. I might have to... Oh, I don't want to do that armor. How much is that going to make me? I'm still 81 short, but I've got silver for that. Okay. Or I could just pay silver. You know what, I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to straight up pay 439 silver for the hauler base station. So this is a like a Roomba. Except it hauls stuff. So anything that's out on, lying on the ground, this will go over and find it and bring it back to the stockpile that you've made for it. I think I'm going to do that. And then I don't have to trade any of my stuff away, which I really don't want to do. Um, cool. And that can be set up when wherever I want. I'm going to keep it inside, I think. Where did it go, though? It should be right around where Tiubo was. Well, let's see. Oh, no, there it is. Haha. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to install this inside. I'm going to put it right over. We're going to put it right up here. And that will be its. Oh, wait, you know what? It needs power. So I'm going to actually keep it near, near an area where there's a place for power, which is right now is right here. So let's go ahead and install that. Right. Turn on the right side. No, we'll put it there. All right. So now we can cancel this. My bad. So she puts that there. It's automatically going to be set up here. I'm going to turn this on. And now we're going to get power here. I'm going to set this power to minus nine. And he 
He's going to activate, and then boom. He's going to go around. He's going to find stuff to, to haul. Look at that wood there. Get that wood out of here. I'm going to put that over there. Look at him go. Now it's like I have a fifth colonist, but he doesn't have to eat. So that's helpful. We're doing pretty well. I don't want to do this. Chop down that tree. So we've got our... We're going to have a little courtyard. Oh no, an infection. That's bad. Alright, where's Nubi at? Stop doing that tree. So it looks like I go over to Huntsman. I go to his hell. He's got an infection. If I look in here, you can see that the infection right now is minor at 0.38%, but he's got 0% immunity. So newbie has got to take care of that, like, right now. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to need some more um, herbal medicine. So if you look here, there's this, this wild heal root. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them that I can see right now. And I'm going to harvest them, with the exception of this one. Cancel that. Because that's a long walk. I, it's a waste of time. Although Kazni's over there for some reason. Why aren't you there? But still. Gathering wood. Oh, they must have been picking up some wood. All right. Oh, there's a deer. All right, so while that's while he's going to go tend to that, I'm going to create another stockpile zone. And this is where we're going to put our food. So I've got a nice little stockpile here. Now I'm going to do some settings. We're going to clear all of it. But we're going to put in foods. All foods. Except for kibble. And now we're going to keep tending. Except for kibble. Kibble doesn't need to be... Um, doesn't need to be refrigerated, so we're fine with that. And now I can take this, and I can remove foods, except for kibble. we got to keep it, so that there's a place to store it somewhere. I never did reset my animals, that's why uh, Bits is over here. So let's put animals, and put them in here. And I just realized that I probably missed that they ate this food. Oh, man. All right. Let's check this out. So we have 5% infection, 5% immunity. So this is where the waiting game comes in. If the infection gets to 100%, he dies. If the immunity gets to 100%, the infection goes away. It's like a race, and right now it's looking pretty neck and neck. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to get some of these going here. So at least you got to wake up. I'm sorry. We got to get some of these harvested so that we can bring back some more medicine. We're also going to harvest some some berries here. Oh look, so there's there's a little herbal medicine here. So what should happen? I'm going to find that robot. Oh there he is. See that? He's came right over. He came right over. Ah, that's a good little Roomba. Tubo is also getting some medicine. Yes, that's totally worth your time, skilled laborer. Yeah, see, look, they're hanging out right on my potato field. It's a good thing they can't be crushed underfoot. Like, seriously, I'd be so angry. Turbo laser. That's a cool name. A Twi'lek runner. All these Twi'lex. I love seeing these Twi'lex and Zabrax. Zabrak. Oh, look, the blueberries are floating. Alright, so what I might do, I'm going to give him better health. But I'm going to do just herbal medicine for these guys, because I really don't want him to die of an infection. So they're going to get, he's going to get better better medicine than the rest of them for now and then I'll change it later so oh look it is actually catching up so the immunity is one percent higher than the infection as long as I keep up on uh, tending to him he should be fine and that was with no medicine at all if I'm using herbal medicine even much less actual medicine he's gonna probably do just fine
so these guys are kind of just annoying me right now. So you remember I said that there was a mod that I had that was, that was called Dismiss Trader? Boom. Let's just do this. Bye bye. Alright, now she can go and do whatever she was doing. And everybody's happy. It's 8 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? They'll be going to bed in two hours. One thing I'm going to do, so we have a schedule here. You can tell them what to do when. We want to make sure that they stay happy. That's like rule number one for not having explosions. Kazni time. I have a Kazni. They have the same name. Brothers. So you can see, if you look over here, it shows the temperature. So inside, we're nice and chilly at minus 9 degrees Celsius. I can probably turn this off. That would save some power. But we, because we have an excess right now. But I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Next thing I need to do is build something here. I don't know what that room is going to be used for yet, but we'll figure something out. Now the other thing that will spoil is uh, herbal medicine. So you can see it, it doesn't spoil for a very long time. But just to be safe, I'm going to keep it right over here. So we'll go to our storage. We'll go to manufactured, medicine, and select herbal medicine. We'll go back to this stockpile and deselect it, and hopefully our little holler bot will pick them up and bring them over here. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's having fun. This expires in five hours, well, eight hours, but it can be tended in five, and I'm going to have them do that in five hours. That will be four in the morning. Newbie's hungry. Yeah. I bet he is. Oh, we need some sleeping spots. So they're sleeping out in, outside of my wall right now. I don't want that. So I'm going to make some back to furniture. We're going to go to an animal sleeping spot. I'm going to set up a couple right here. I'm also going to put some inside my house. Uh, I guess we'll do them right here. So that the bunny will not be sleeping wherever on the floor they feel like it. It'll be right here. I also want to put some of these in here so that they can be happier. And I'm probably... Let's make this bigger, too. We'll do that. That should happen tomorrow. After the wall gets built. And... Oh, it's a, he must have been sleeping all day. What a sloth. Playing chess. That's making that tick up. 100%. Gonna go feed the prisoner. I mean, our friend. Everybody's looking pretty happy right now, which is kind of nice. We'll let leaks wander around for a bit. And back to bed. Okay, because everybody's going to sleepwalk, I guess. All right, build that wall. And now they automatically roof it in when when it becomes enclosed. Why does everybody get up for a second and go back to bed afterward? It's so weird. All right, everybody, go eat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some of these here. Okay. So we got. I forget where that is. That might be in storage. Wall refrigerator. That's a single deep refrigerator. I thought I had a double one. Maybe it's not in there. Yeah. 
So I want to put a, a nice double refrigerator in the wall. But it looks like I can only do single ones for now. Maybe I have to research that. I don't remember. Single refrigerator, single wall refrigerator. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And I'll throw this. I don't want it on this exterior wall. But I'll put it right here. That's a good spot for it. And then I'll get that door right there, which we had wanted. That's going to make it easier for them to go in and out. Oh, you know what? Darn. I should have thought of this ahead of time. Let's see if we can do a wall refrigerator right here. Instead. Okay, so now this is going to give me another little uh, airlock. And at the same time, I'm going to have this little wall refrigerator here. And when I have this wall refrigerator, it's going to allow me to put my meals in there. And then they don't have to walk all the way down here to get food to eat. I'm going to build another wall refrigerator right there. So that when he's done cooking, he just throws it in here. And these things are going to help save time because the pawns aren't going to be walking all over the map trying to get to where they're going. Hey, that looks cool. We've got a nice little base going here. She should leave that one spot with no roof, which she did. And that's going to allow the heat to escape so it doesn't get a thousand degrees Celsius in there. Oh, this is perfect. And now, now we have a little bit of time. We've got a nice little area here. We've got a little bit extra space. We've got our places. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, we did do it, though. Hey, 64% immunity, 40% infection. So it's a major infection. That's no bueno, but... With that immunity being higher than the infection, we should be fine. Okay, so let's start thinking about what we want to do next. This doesn't have any power, so let's connect some power to it. I go over here, I get my power conduit. We're going to connect it to the blue. And have that go right up to there, to the wall. And then I'm actually, while they're doing all this, I'm just going to snake it all the way up. So that it's going to power both of these. So Tiubo is going ahead and doing that. Tiubo. And she's building those. So let's think about what's next. I've got some wildlife here. Some of these, like these deer, are perfect eats. So I'm going to go ahead and mark them as hunting. So handle hunt. Make sure you do the right ones. I've done that wrong a few times. It's no good. And hopefully we're going to start going after them. What? Why are we going all the way up here just to do that? Oh, you know why? I'll bet this is considered my home area. Yeah, if it is. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. But I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do... Uh, real quick, this is something I usually don't do this early, but while she's all the way over there already, I'm going to just go ahead and make a stockpile. So this stockpile is going to go right here, and it's just going to be... Chunks slag. Chunks and slag. Sweet. So now that we've got that, I'm going to just force her. She's already all the way over on this side of the map, so I might as well just do it. What's that? Mine's still there. Just check to make sure that those aren't aren't ready to be harvested. The only bummer is she's soaking wet because she just went through the pond. Oh well. Wah, wah. Where'd you go? Oh, there's one left. The last one, the only one that actually mattered is the one that they didn't bother build. You guys are good at this. Oh, someone's shooting. Oh, he's got his heavy submachine gun. Get those deer. What are you shooting at? 
Oh, you're shooting at it. Gosh. Where's your rifle? Don't, please don't shoot your friend. Don't. Oh. Let's move you out of range, eh? Gosh. So eventually, one of these might get shot and actually brought down. And then they'll haul him back. Hey, hunting is so cool. These things must be like super beasts. No empty place to store it. Okay, so that must mean I didn't put it in here. Oh yeah, corpses. Animal corpses are going to go right in here, and that's it. Don't put human-like in there, because every time when your colonist sees it, they're going to get a bad thought, and those bad thoughts are going to be bad. So don't do that. Ooh, Jade. That's my favorite. Okay, so now you can haul the book. And that should give me some meat, but that means I'm going to need a butcher table. Maybe I might just do that outside. It's going to take a little bit longer because it's outside, but I don't think I care too much, so. And then once that happens, we start getting some rice, potatoes. Man. Oh, good, this is built. So we have it set in minus five, that's good. Our foods are already there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this priority preferred. And this priority normal. So what they'll do now is they'll actually move the food up into here, but they may not do that with these packed survival meals. I do want to add a bill. So I want to make simple meals. Those are the ones that are the best. And we're going to do this until I have, I like to keep 10 on for every colonist that I have. So there's four, but I also have this one that I rescued, so I have to remember that. So that's gonna be 50. 50 meals. And then what's gonna happen is my my cook, Kazni, eventually is gonna go ahead and, oh, he's already started. Wow, very, very prudent. And he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna start making food. But we've also got this guy here. So we're going to butcher creature. We're going to do this forever. So no matter how many I have, as the second I get one, he's going to go ahead and get in here. And I wanted to prioritize that. This is where that work comes in. We'll start to do that next time. We're going to we're going to get all the deer. They're going to be going bye bye. Whoa! There's a door here. I missed it before. What is this? I want to go in, but I don't. Who knows what I will find. How are we doing? 87. Oh, so this should be no problem. I'm actually going to take him off of that now and give him herbal medicine only. And that should be good. My hollerbot's taking my first leather away. I've got 57 plain leather. Here's my meats. Now what eventually I'm probably going to do, I'm going to make these bedrooms or something, and I'm going to put my kitchen down here. That's going to allow my cook to just go back and forth and not have to go so far. Alternatively, what I could do is I could make this the kitchen, and th just this. The, that actually probably be a smarter idea because then I can have the in-wall refrigerator and my cook, my cook can just go right to there and back. So, squad goals. Oh, you're going to hunt, but we actually have a dead deer. Oh, well, it's not going to hunt. This one's hurt. Six hours is going to be dead. I do want to try to tame this. I like the foxes. Oh, 
All right, so we're about to the end of day three, and this is just about where we're going to call it today. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to know in the comments, what do you think? How am I doing? What can I do better? And I also want to know, are you playing RimWorld? So tell me in the comments, how long have you been playing for? And if you're using any of the mods that I'm using, or if you think that I have some mods that that you don't have. Let me reverse that. <laughs> that you have some mods that I don't have and you want to know, want me to know what they are. Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see you next time. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to save it. We haven't even named our named our fort yet, our settlement. I'm going to save it and I am going to sign off. Good night. This is Gamer Gamer Pile and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.